What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a quick tutorial on some uh, black strobe flashes. <clears throat> I'm surprised so many people have asked for this and it is uh, pretty simple. I'm going to show you a couple techniques on how to get what you want and stuff. So you have a clip and then a cool song with some uh, some you know fast beats or something that look good for a strobe light kind of thing. You just need to make a black solid, and the first way is just to do this by hand. So we'll zoom in all the way, we'll go to the front, and we'll push T for opacity, we'll zoom in even more, and we're just going to make keyframes every other um, frame. So if you're working at 59.94 frames per second, uh, YouTube plays it back at 30 frames per second, which means every two frames needs to change. So we're going to keyframe it at 100, move forward once. And then 100, move forward once, down to 0, move forward once, keyframe at 0. So we have 100, 100, 0, 0. We can just copy these and paste. And then copy that whole thing and paste. And copy this whole thing and paste. And then you can just, uh, you know, fill up the entire layer. And then you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, trim the layer and then duplicate and then bring another one over here. So you can have multiple... Uh, strobe light flashes. So, uh, another cool way to do this. So, if you don't want to make so many keyframes, let me just reset this. So, we have a hundred. We're gonna start doing the same thing, but we're gonna use some expressions. So, keyframe at a hundred, move forward once, one hundred, move forward once, down to zero, once, zero, and then the fifth keyframe is a hundred again. <clears throat> okay, we're going to hit Alt and click on the stopwatch, and we're going to use our expression helper, this little arrow over here. It gives us a whole list of a bunch of expressions we can use. We're going to go down to Property, and then just go to Loop Out, not Loop Out Duration. So Loop Out, and that's it, and then let go. So it'll loop these keyframes over and over, 100, 100, 0, 0, 100, 100, 0, 0. So that's pretty sweet. Now... <clears throat> these, um, also, to check if your flashes look okay, again, since I said YouTube plays it back at 30, um, if you're in 59, go to skip and go to skip 1, and then it'll play, if I purge all my uh, frames real quick, you'll see that it'll RAM preview every other frame, so it'll look like it's playing back at 30 frames per second, but it's still playing in real time. So you can check how fast your flashes look if you want to sync it to the song. And uh, hopefully you can see that right there. And um, one more way. I'll just go ahead and uh, delete all this stuff. Ignore. Get out of here, buddy. Okay. There is an effect called strobe light. So we'll apply that to our black solid. And what it can do is uh, it turns a layer, you know, a specific color. So you want... This block layer to turn red and black and over and over or we can just uh, instead of color we can make it transparent so you can have a layer itself being transparent or this black layer being transparent and um, so if you have flashes or you want flashes that aren't uh, as fast as the first technique I showed you so maybe there's like slower I don't know triplets or something you can change your strobe period in seconds right here to something like 0 0.04 and the duration needs to be half that, 0 0.02. And again, we'll skip one frame and then we can just ram preview to see what these flashes look like. So they're a little bit slower and you can just adjust the speed of them right here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, either keyframe, every keyframe, or use the expression or use the strobe light to specify how fast you want it. And um, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and all that cool stuff. And um, yeah, any questions or comments or suggestions, let me know. Okay, peace.